This is sort of sad, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we've had uh, moments like this in the past where the conservative movement loses one of their great heroes. Um, you know that uh, as a conservative, um, you, um, you, f you take your heroes where you can find it. And that is why so many conservative heroes over the years have been uh, tween age boys. Um, years ago, uh, Mark Maron and I talked about how uh, Jonathan Crone, I think his name was, was, was so lauded by the conservative right. They, were, he, they paraded this poor kid around. Uh, and I think it was a couple of years ago on this program we had him on when he renounced conservative and said, oh, you know what, now that I'm in my uh, late teens and I'm headed to college, I realize, like, you know, why are people taking a tween age year old guy that seriously? I think that's what he said. Like, uh, that, as he looks back on it, I mean, look, when you're 12, you're 13, should you be held to the same standards as an adult? No. But the real question, and Jonathan Crone put this uh, to them, was like, why were all these grown-ups looking to me like I knew what I was talking about? And, well, they've lost another one, uh, ladies and gentlemen. And this, um, this uh, teen star, uh, right-wing I guess, um, icon is now basically saying he, he wants to not be known as a uh, political one way or another, which is probably a smart business move. Uh, but, uh, beyond that, he's also evolving and maturing. Here it is. Um, this is CJ Pearson announcing that, um, he is not only, uh, Oh, we don't, do we have a video from him? Uh, yeah, but it's not him re renouncing conservatism. It's from his most popular okay, viral video. Okay, well, let's video. listen to his popular viral video. Remember, this is the guy who was the national chairman of Teens for Ted. This is the video that got him that gig, basically. Yeah, My name's CJ Pearson, and today I wanted just to applaud Mayor Rudy Giuliani for his comments about President Barack Obama. Here's the truth of the matter. I don't want to be politically correct. I don't care about being politically correct at this point. President Obama, you don't love America. If you really did love America, you would call ISIS what it really is. An assault on Christianity, an assault on America, and a downright hate for the American values that our country holds. A freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and every single thing that our country stands for. Now, how can a tween age boy get uh, the talking points so correct? So the, the pitch and the tone and the, the syntax, I mean, all of it could come out of the mouths of just about every conservative, every uh, guy running for president, practically. Or woman running for president on the Republican side. Well, that's because it really is a tween age mentality. And now uh, Pearson has come out and said... I'm renouncing conservatism. I am resigning as uh, national chair of Teens for Ted. <laughs> I'm an American. It's the only label that matters to me from this point forward. So to all the haters, he said, you can suck it. And that is a little bit more, you know, tween-like. I like, though, he's like showing you that really the whole thing should just be potentially like a rough spot in puberty. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that all these other people have not grown out of. That's right. He got it. That's right. Not everybody went through that phase, but, you know, if you need to, you need to, and it should last about a couple of months. Tweenagers yeah. just uh, know, I mean, that um, it is... Uh, Kid is right about one thing. You get, you get through the, uh, the puberty, you get through the uh, conservatism, and, right. and you'll grow out of it. And it, unless you're really unlucky, in which case you just grow into libertarianism, and then you've got to wait until you're out of college. That's a more serious problem. Yeah. That's like when the doctor's doing a checkup, and he's like, oh... This mm. is actually a more serious problem than I Look thought. What we found. Yeah. Is and he talking a lot about freedom and doing "quote unquote" thought experiments? Yeah, you might have mentioned this, uh, but it should be reiterated that th he changed his mind because of the, La the Laquan McDonald uh, thing. Ah, he okay. had a discussion with one of his friends, and that's what changed him. He wanted to express uh, he was disgusted with that, and he was afraid conservatives weren't going to support his uh, support of that. That's pretty. Um, th I mean, that's. I guess. I mean pretty stunning in some way, but I guess it always takes one issue for um, 
people and kids uh, to, to see, you know, just how warped the ideology is. And I imagine he'll start to see, uh, see it more broadly uh, going forward. Um, I suspect full-on liberal young adult YouTube star in his future. And I expect full America hate by college. That's what I expect. <laughs>